Hey y'all, I'm Barton Seaver, chef, author, and I am joining you today to talk about one of my very favorite holiday traditions, borrowing from the great Italian-American tradition of the Feast of the Seven Fishes. This is a long, lingering meal eaten on Christmas Eve, gathering the whole family around the table and, well, just feasting. It can be seven fishes, it can be five, it can be 20, no matter what you want. It, this is your celebration. So, borrowing from that tradition, I've got a frito misto. This is a mixed fish fry here. And I've got some delicious, incredible seafood from H-E-B that is responsibly wild caught. I've got some North Atlantic cod, Texas jumbo brown shrimp, North Atlantic cold water lobster. I've got some jumbo sea scallops, some wild Alaskan salmon, and some responsibly farm-raised rainbow trout. A couple of tips is that each ingredient should be cut into pieces that are the same size so that all of the salmon cooks evenly together. Now, whether the shrimp and the salmon are the same size doesn't matter because cooking in batches is another key here. You wanna cook in small batches so that the temperature of the fry oil doesn't drop too much. Season each ingredient with salt before starting the breading process. And as we're doing here, dipping into the flour, egg, and water mixture, and then tossing to coat in the panko before dropping them into the fryer oil at about 375 degrees, or this can be done in an air fryer. But there's less to show in an air fryer, and that's why I'm doing it on the stovetop for you. Cooking small batches at a time also helps you maintain consistency and doneness, but also being able to tell when they're done. And if all of the pieces are about the same size as jumbo shrimp, well, then they will be done and cooked when the breading is crisp. Now, not all of the ingredients need to be hot when they're served, so work in batches and remove, once crisp, onto paper towels to help dry and absorb a little bit of excess oil. What does this all look like when it's done? Uh, yeah, it looks pretty great. Hey, Merry Christmas, y'all. Feliz Navidad. So I've got beautiful scallops. I've got shrimp. I'm just gonna make a giant platter of them. You know what, and I did these all sort of at their own time, and what else do I got? I got some beautiful crispy pieces of that rainbow trout, that skin crisped up, but that flesh holds that panko breadcrumb on there. Beautiful pieces of salmon. Yeah, is this starting to look good to y'all, right? Oh, what else did I do? I deep fried some lemon slices as well. Nice little potent, pungent little counterpoint to it. What else do I got? Oh, got the lobster tails. Some of those pieces of cod. Yeah. Is that looking good to y'all folks? Yep, me too. I've also got some very thinly shaved fennel that I'm gonna throw over top here. You know, don't forget your vegetables folks, right? So, tis the season. I've also got some very thinly shaved radish and what this does, is it just offers a nice little counterpoint to the richness of the fish, a little freshness to it. And I like some chili powder. So, I'm just gonna season it with some chili. So there you go this incredible platter of six fish, for those of you who are counting. Where's the seventh? Anchovies, and these are the sauces. Now I've minced up those anchovies, one of my favorite ingredients, and thrown those right inside H-E-B's marinara sauce to just give it a little kick there. I've got this creamy poblano alfredo sauce, perfect for dipping, and I've got some of their pesto, H-E-B pesto that I've mixed with just a little bit of mayonnaise to make it a perfect dipping sauce, wow. There you go. Feast of the seven fishes. All the joy, goodness, and bounty of the season brought sustainably and responsibly to you by our good friends at HEB. Bon appetit.